Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 video and today we're going to be doing another uh, what if video so I, I don't know when the last one was I think it was about uh, it was that, a week ago something like that two weeks ago I don't even know yeah, I think yeah two weeks ago well the Proxima Centauri um, Earth swap locations yeah where we swap the planets around there so yeah, that was the last episode um, we did on what if but today we're going to do something a little more simple we haven't done something like this in ages today we're going to be heading to good old Earth and we're going to be having doing some damage tests with it so Let's go to here. There we go. Slow down. Before we begin as well, guys, I want to say a massive, massive thank you as we hit 5,700 subscribers um, yesterday or today. I'm not exactly sure what point of time it hit it, but yeah, we hit 5,700. So a massive, massive thank you to everyone who has joined on the journey. It's absolutely amazing. And yeah, I can't thank you enough. It really, really, really appreciated. And we are getting close to that 6,000. I don't know if we'll get it before the end of the year. That is our target, but it's going to be close. But yeah, just a massive, massive thank you for everyone who's new and everyone who's sticking around still. A massive, massive thanks to you guys. But anyways, as you've seen by the title, we are going to be uh, seeing what would happen if the goblin object, so yeah, TG387, we're going to see what would happen if this had a little collision with Earth. We're going to be doing it at different speeds, angles, all that. So first off, we'll start with the basic sort of, um, can I uh, make this go up a bit? I guess not. Let's just fire it and see what it will do. Uh, before we begin so there's the goblin there so smashed into earth i'm guessing not much good is going to happen from this i mean that's quite a big impact but is it going to make the earth uh, heat up too much let's have a look here looks like it is so it warm yes yeah, that's um that probably would have killed all of the humans then i mean the water will return over time it's taken a few hours it looks like but yeah for that impact time where it was, where it was at 100 almost 200 degrees there that's not very good. So we're going to go into a new simulation here. We're just going to keep going over and over again and seeing different scenarios. Because I know some of you guys did ask this. So, yeah, that's I'm doing it. Because um, I thought it would be quite interesting. We've not done a video like this in a really, really long time. So, yeah, why not um, go back to sort of the roots of the channel and do like a classic sort of style of video. Because we have not done um, a video like this where we uh, collide stuff with the Earth in a long time. I don't even remember the last time I did this. Can I not make this option or menu any bigger? That's quite annoying. If I do it at one kilometer a second, I need to turn off that. That's pretty annoying. Why can't I make this menu bigger? Uh, that really sucks. So let's put it at only one kilometer a second. I'm, it'll probably will speed up. So yeah, one kilometer a second. So then we're going to place one there. So there's the goblin object. And also, heard there's a new dwarf planet has been found. So we're gonna, I'll definitely have to do a video on that at some point. So right, we're going to play. So that was traveling at one kilometer, so it's traveling a little slower. And anything happen in Earth? You gonna seriously? Nothing? Well, that was um, surprising. I mean, the goblin isn't that large of an object, remember? But look at all the. I mean, South America's gone, but the rest of the world. I mean, I mean, it's okay. I mean, it's the planet's still at 14 degrees. So I'm guessing that impact wasn't too serious. I mean. That's a very surprise, and I thought it would do more than that at one kilometre. Now, I'll, what I'll also do is, as well, keep loading it into a new one. Uh, what I'll also do is literally just place it next to the Earth, and the Earth will basically fly into it. So, I'm going to uh, see what will happen there. So, there we go. So, let's get the Goblin again, and let's see what happens. Yeah, and also, if you guys have got any more ideas for what if videos, let me know down below, because I'm always reading the comments. So, yeah, definitely um, do that. So, let's put it literally right next to Earth. Let's see what would happen in that sort of scenario. I mean, it would never happen in real life, but yeah, for the purpose of just having fun and experimentation, let's um, let's do it. So, let's go on realistic. I need to save this simulation with realistic because that's quite annoying. So, there we go. So, we're going to slow down time. So, that's way too quick. We'll travel to a few hours. Oh, and it's just, it's just eating it up straight away. So, oh, that's a big explosion. That was way bigger than last time. But still no... Um, change to the temperature there see i'm not sure that all these collisions are entirely realistic if you ask me i mean that doesn't seem correct at 14 degrees i mean surely not i mean client mode was off it should look like that but pretty weird stuff let's do it in the regular solar system uh simulation as well just to see if um that has any difference so let's go over here solar system there we go so let's load into here get rid of that so there we go let's go to earth and let's um see what would happen if we threw the goblin into earth from here and i think i did this with series a long time ago let's just get a quick comparison with the size of series so there's series and then the goblin so i think they're pretty si yeah they are very similar i mean the series is slightly bigger as you can see here 
slightly bigger than this little dwarf planet here. That's only at 300. This is at 470. So yeah, Ceres is fairly larger in size there. So there we go. So let's put it down to a few seconds. Play. So you can see Earth is going to fly into the goblin. The goblin's barely moving. The Earth's pulling it in. But yeah, here is um, the goblin. going to collide with Earth. So we should get a cool little action-packed shot here. Imagine seeing that. Though. Let's, let's land in Australia here. And we should be able to see it from Australia. So there we go. Oh, no, I don't want to land on the goblin. No, no, no. I want to land on the Earth. There we go. So I want to click there. There we go. So let's have a look around. Oh, my God. Imagine seeing that. Oh, dear. So let's actually watch it from Earth. Oh, my God. Imagine seeing that. Oh, oh. That's not good. Let's uh, turn all that off. Oh, dear. And this is happening at 16 seconds. So let's see it in, like, real time. That's a little slower than real time. So this is what it would pretty much look like. We're traveling about just over half a second. There, so I mean, that that explosion is pretty fast. I mean, yeah, you can see the temperature's really heating up now. See, this is what would probably I think this is a lot more realistic than the previous tests we've done. I mean, when you slow it down, the game really simulates it a lot better. But yeah, if you're if you're in Australia right now and you saw this, you probably wouldn't be in a very good situation. I mean, that looks pretty nasty. So yeah, we'll pause and we'll look from the other sort of countries. So you can see, yeah, it's mostly landed in the Indian Ocean. I'd say, I'd say that's, yeah, I think that's the Indian Ocean. Yeah, that's, that is the Indian Ocean. There's India. This would be the Indian Ocean. So yeah, there is that. So let's land in this area here. Let's also um have a look around. So there you go. So you can see it from a little further distance away, I think. What's the closest land? Oh, it's definitely this area here. Australia's a little further away, but still, being in Australia and seeing that, in the sky i mean damn you can see it. from this side of australia you can't actually see it yet so um if we land right on the coast of australia again have a look around yeah there's that big explosion so damn looks like the explosion has slightly got smaller as well but you can really see the temperature of earth is heating up see this is this is definitely more realistic since we are playing it at real speed or a little slower than real speed so the game is really simulating it properly here so yeah this is probably the best representation of what would happen if the goblin was to hit earth but it will it probably never will i mean it's very far away see this is just over a second let's just go to one second there we go like oh, there we go so 1.3 seconds this is pretty much real time you can see it they are uh, all of that heat is taken over the ocean there we can see on the picture as well because we're standing in australia so we can slowly see this um nasty um explosion damage heading towards us there's also fragments that have launched back into space as well but oh dear so yeah oh, oh we're yeah we're just off the coast of australia actually so this is what people in a boat would see or something like that so oh dear speed up to about a second again it's really hard to get it dead on a second but it's happening pretty quick oh my god look at that so you can see on the um little earth there it is almost at australia as you can see there oh dear and it's just about to hit the coast of australia so if we uh, fly up you can see we can see it on both maps here and it has now reached Australia, so as it slowly spreads in, that will kill anyone in its way, probably, because that is a big explosion. So, yeah, you can watch there. It's also um, got to this area here. It's almost at India as well. We can see that. It's a massive explosion, though. Oh. It's also a massive dry patch in the middle where all that water has evaporated. The Earth says it's at 45, oh, no, 4,500 degrees. So, yeah, that's not too good. So if we uh, zoom out there, you can really see there's all the... Um, fragments and stuff that have been launched back into space there's a ton of debris now so that is um pretty scary so let's actually land in australia here again let's land here oh a little too far away let's land that down there there we go so let's have a look around we should see a load of stuff back in space there so all of that stuff's exploded back out into space there it's all flying away so speed up a little bit more now go to about 10 seconds so oh dear look at that we can just see these objects just flying out probably some of this is probably part of earth as well some of this debris here but oh dear that is a huge problem for the earth can i select earth right now can i uh spam click no so yeah that is um a lot of debris it could crash back to earth i mean that's probably still just outside the atmosphere i want to say yeah some of that's literally just outside the atmosphere so some of that probably will fall back to earth i mean we've got this fragment here that's probably a uh, quite likely to fall back i mean this is probably sort of like International Space Station sort of distance. That's just a rough guess. I may not be accurate there, but to me, it looks just out of the atmosphere. I mean, maybe. I'm, I'm guessing the International Space Station is around this sort of distance. I'm not entirely sure. We don't even know how far away it is. But yeah, I'm guessing the, um, that's maybe a little further than the ISS is from Earth. But yeah, a lot of that is going to fall back. I mean, look at the explosion. Now, you can still see the shockwave uh, traveling out. It's reached Africa now. All of those um, countries in Africa there. It's reached Antarctica. 
Some of it's in the Pacific Ocean now. We've got some in the north up here in Russia. That will slowly get to America. So that's yeah, on its way. That's a that's a big crash. So let's um, go on flashlights. We can really see. So there's a the shockwave. So that's going to go all the way around the planet. So once that gets all the way around, then it will really uh, heat up. So there we go there. So let's uh, speed up to a few hours now. There you go to, go to about an hour, minute. Oh, that was only in the minutes. Okay, so let's go to about... So you can see the... Um, yeah, and the atmosphere has actually disappeared completely now. That's not too good. And a lot of it's crashed back to Earth, as you can see. We've got a lot of explosions here. It's all falling back to Earth. So that's even more crashes and craters. And there you go. The Earth is just uh, not looking too good now. I mean, I don't think humanity would have survived that. And, and yeah, you can see the Earth has actually lost some mass. If we, uh, It's only at 82 moons, so 0.999 Earths. So it has lost 0.001 Earths in all that collision, because a lot of it's falling back to Earth now. But I'm guessing all of this material out here, this is actually flying away from Earth. So that's the missing percentage, all of this um, debris out here. A lot of it probably will fall back. Let's see if it all does. Uh, yeah, some of that's completely gone. So Earth has lost a bit of mass from that. So that is not good. And now the Earth is just a molten ball. And the hottest planet in the solar system. So it will eventually cool down. And it probably wouldn't look like Earth anymore after all that. Because since the surface is all molten, I'm pretty sure the continents wouldn't stay intact. So maybe it would be something like this. I mean, obviously not black, but more of a grey colour. But yeah, I'm pretty sure the Earth's continents wouldn't survive. So there you go. Something more something like this. So all the water probably would eventually return once the planet cools down. Until we got something a bit like this. I'm guessing something like that maybe a... Yeah good representation of what will be left because usually or once um, what happened in the game was a long time ago when a planet heated up and you cooled it down the surface texture changed it was another strategy rather than just making it a gas giant but that's not in the game anymore i don't think but yeah it used to be a way to change the planet's texture so yeah i'm guessing uh, we'll probably get to like this i'm pretty sure the continents wouldn't stay in the same place if it all was molten rock like that it probably would all flow around i don't know I, i'm not sure on that someone correct me if i'm wrong there but yeah i'm pretty sure we'd end up with something like that so yeah there we go so um, let's do one more but yeah i'm, I'm gonna do it at normal sort of speed so in the days here and we're gonna see the um completely inaccurate difference once again so if we uh just go to earth here slow it down a bit but yeah the only way to get more realistic collisions i'd say is to um pretty much do it or just to launch it into earth so like that that is way less realistic because look the temperature hasn't even changed you have to run the game so slow to actually get a realistic sort of um, explosion. Because, I mean, that's done nothing. I mean, an object that size, like we just saw, causes a lot more damage than that. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure um, this the, what we just played, that is the more realistic version. Because I'm pretty sure this is completely unrealistic. I mean, you got to really slow it down. Like, if we slowed it down now, we'll travel to a few um, minutes here. Then we launch an object in. I'm pretty sure we'll get a way more realistic results. We're going to shoot that in there. So there we go, it's the goblin, there you go. So it's going to crash into Earth. There you go, so that is a more realistic collision. I'm pretty sure we can all agree on that, that this is the more correct way of a collision rather than what we just saw. So you've got to be playing in the seconds here. I'm not sure how high it will go before it does what it did previously, but yeah, this is probably the more realistic sort of um, collision there. So yeah, there you go. That is um, a lot of um, debris there all crashing back to Earth, so the same again there. So yeah, poor Earth battered up with um, the goblin there. But yeah, there we go, guys. So that is it for today's video. So if the goblin hit Earth, it'd be certain doom. <laughs> yeah, it'd be certain doom. So that'll be our conclusion from this video today. But yeah, of course, if you've got any more ideas for other videos, then let me know down below in the comments or in my Discord server. Make sure to join that as well if you haven't. Link is in the description. And also subscribe if you are new. Help us on the journey to 6,000 subscribers as we are less than 300 away. So we're getting close. We're getting really close. I don't know if think we'll make it before then. Yeah, it's going to be really close though, but... Yeah, um, let's see if we can still try and go for that goal because that would be absolutely amazing. Yeah, I can't thank you guys enough as well. Also, let's see if we can go for 50 likes on this video because it really helps the channel out a much. And, yeah, it's much, much appreciated, guys. So, yeah, just I cannot thank you enough. I say it a lot, but it's true. It is absolutely amazing. Oh, and that one just smashed into Earth, didn't it? Oh, dear. So, yeah, um, yeah there we go. So, rest in peace, Earth. But, yeah, make sure you guys all have a great day. And, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.